Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. If it's your first time here, you've found the only show on the web that's powered by the White Russian. That's right. So please remember to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so you can get me making food, drinking White Russians. Today we are making a volcano burger. No, we're not going to a volcano and cooking over it. But I kind of like that idea. That would be kind of cool. I'll get the crew together. We'll all go to Hawaii and do that one of these days. Maybe even fly Patrick in from Australia. Now, today we're making this burger in memory of an old friend of mine. His name was Tom, and he had a restaurant. And he used to make what he called volcano burgers. Well, the idea to do this whole thing came from Zach over at Brisket Medic. He did a video recently that reminded me very much of how Tom did his. I'm going to leave a link down below to Zach from Brisket Medic. He's got a great channel. All right, today we are just starting with pre-made burgers. The reason why I'm going with pre-made burgers is because once we're done on the Cuisinart 360 cooking these things, I want them to all be the same size. So let's just start putting them on the Cuisinart. Yes, I will wash my hands when we're done. Just put the burgers down. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands while these burgers cook. All right, I think these burgers are done. Look great. Remove them. And then we're just gonna let them cool off for a little bit because we still have to manhandle these things. Man, they look great. Our burgers have been resting for about 10 minutes. You can see they're all pretty much the same size. Looks pretty good, I think. So I got some flour right here. I'm just going to put in more of the Uncle Steve's smoke bomb into the flour. Whisk it in there real well. Perfect. That's just extra flavor. I'm going to take some eggs. And I'm going to take, I think, about four eggs. We're going to use the eggs as our dredge. Give them a good whisk. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to take my first burger, go like that. Then I'm going to take a piece of American cheese, maybe. Good Lord. Put it on, dip it into our flour. That is perfect, just like that. Now I'm gonna do it again a couple more times. But I'm only going to put on three pieces of cheese for this. See what I mean? Just like that. We're gonna to top it with one more burger. Now, Tom called these two things. He called them a broasted burger and a volcano burger. I always like the volcano side of it. I mean, that looks pretty good right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some oil heated up and then we're gonna fry these things. Well, our oil is up to that magical 350. Watch this. Yeah, that's a thing of beauty right there, man. Cook away, baby, cook away. Because this is already cooked, it shouldn't take that long to finish off what it needs to do. Man, you can already smell it, though. 
with that golden crust on there. Not quite done yet. That's just, that's the thing of beauty right there. I'm gonna take it out for just a moment. I'm gonna flip this bad boy. And there we go. While this thing is cooking away, let's just put another piece of cheese on that. I mean, seriously, you can't go wrong there. Nice. Heck yeah. I think this thing's done. It's only been in for about two minutes. I think it's done though. So I'm just gonna take it off, let it cool off for a moment. And then I think it's time to plate it. Our burgers have had time to cool off. I'm just gonna put a little mayo on a brioche bun. Some mustard. Put our burger down. <laughs> now no burger is complete without pickles. Some onions. A little, just a little bit of lettuce. You know, I gotta stay healthy here. And some tomatoes. You know, I'm looking at this thing going, man, that brings back memories. That was Tom's burger right there. I was 20 years old and eating one of these every other day. But you know, <laughs> I had the metabolism to do it. Look at that thing. <laughs> Let's see if this thing will cut. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that, man. Awesome, look at that cheese in there. That's so cool. Yeah. I'm still not sure I can wrap my mouth around that, but hey, we're going to give it a try. Let's do it. Yeah. Very reminiscent of what Tom did. Mmm. Heck yeah. It's not a paper. There we go. Stupid flies. No time of year for flies. That burger's the bomb. You get all the layers of cheese on that. You know, been kind of cool. I had to put just different kinds of cheeses in there. That would be really cool. The flavor is just outstanding, it just stands out. Everything about that stands out. Yeah, it's a little big to wrap your mouth around, but I know Tom would be proud of this. Let's try a white Russian with it, because he owned a bar, too. Uh-oh, that's a problem. Yeah, actually, Tom is where I learned to drink the white Russian from. That burger rocked. So, if you liked it, give it a try. I a lot of meat there, man. <laughs> Special thanks to Zach from Brisket Medic for taking me down memory lane. Make sure to check out his burger. It was great, fantastic. If you like what you saw, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, ring that bell for notifications. I really do appreciate it. We made a volcano burger, AKA broasted burger, heart attack burger, colon choker, Whatever you want to call this thing, we made it, and it brought back some great memories. All right, friends, we will talk to you then on the next video. Peace. Stay safe out there, and remember the dude abides with his old friend Tom's Volcano Burger. See you later, friends.